There is a dark plan behind the murders of several unarmed young Afro-Americans in Ferguson, St. Louis, Missouri, and I will tell you who's behind it. Octagon of the Swiss Nazi Templars are behind it, and they've already done the same thing in Europe with those Swiss mercenaries terrorizing the European population for thousands of years. The Thirty Year War and the Swiss and the Swiss were the driving force behind Nazi Germany, which I've explained in my other videos. And now it's a turn of the US because of the Swiss and their banks forced to plead guilty of conspiracy against the United States this year, 2014, in a US court of law. So this is Swiss's revenge to create chaos, mayhem and a racial war inside the United States of America. This here is an official map of the, uh, it says on, under here, the Swiss Federal Office of Statistics from the motherland of Octagon. And it says here, the Swiss diaspora in the USA, 1890. So, um, and here, um, the ones who were born in Switzerland of the um, the population inside the United States 1890 and so this is where they went to where it's red so this is this is the Swiss belt you know a lot of them went to Oregon and California as well but well there are loads of other people here but this is the Midwest this is countryside here you know Missouri so this is an official map, so here it says 10,000 and more, here, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Missouri, well, it, Ferguson is in the middle of the Swiss belt, you get it? It's here where the arrow is. So I will prove to you here that Ferguson, St. Louis, right, lies right in the middle of the Swiss belt in the Midwest, where most of that Swiss fifth column went to before spreading all over the US and always going for the key positions in police, politics and army like J. Edgar Hoover, President Herbert Hoover, real name Hoover, President Eisenhower, that means a, um, a blacksmith, Eisenhower, General Custer, or see my other videos for that. Missouri has ranked 13 out of the 50 US states where the Swiss diaspora went to with 25,000 Swiss Americans and imagine them all going into the army and police well you know according to the mercenary tradition of Octagon the Nazi Templars thus achieving a majority of Swiss Americans being your local police and well we can see there are not many black or Asian policemen in Ferguson. Ferguson lies at the border with Illinois. So here, this is Missouri, this is Illinois. Here's Ferguson, it's a part of St. Louis. Um, yeah, which has rank 5. So Illinois has uh, rank 5 for Swiss Americans counting 41,000 of them. So for Ferguson, lying at the border between Missouri and Illinois, with almost 100,000 Swissies around, always in the line of work where the guns are and the uniform, and there have always been a, a small minority creating huge dictatorships. You just have to you just have to be tightly organized and Octagon knows this better than anyone else. Then rank four is Wisconsin with 61,000 Swissies. Number three is Pennsylvania with 74,000. And number two, so this is the second, you know, of 50 American states. This is number two, the second largest amount in a state, which is in Ohio, with 86,000 Swiss Americans with altogether 330,000 Swissies in that Swiss belt around Ferguson. So this is where they are. This is where they concentrated, you know. It's in the middle of the Swiss belt. 
This is where they kill black people and where the Swiss, you know, octagon police. See my video, Octagon the Empire of Darkness, and my other videos. I don't want to repeat it all here. It's too much. So you look, you, you just watch the other videos and in my channel, Gyure. You watch the long videos, like the two hour videos, it's all in there. It, th this is why it's happening here. Don't you get it? You know, they probably landed here, well, they landed here in New York, and they went right here, in the Swiss belt, here. And this is why it's happening here in Ferguson, where the police is lying, just as in the motherland, Switzerland, the same way, and they think it's normal, you know, to kill some black people and, and then, then like, slip into the... Uh, slip into the victim's role they do this this police you know and and look at their innocent their their, their, their faces you know their emotionless faces just like dr mengele i mean I look at the police here it's it's all the same i i i feel it i see it and the proofs are here wakey wakey so this is swiss american from wikipedia here it says wikipedia and here you can see President Herbert Hoover, a real name Hoover, J. Edgar or Gay Edgar Hoover, Hoover. Well, they always they also look at, look the same, you know. And here's Eisenhower. Well, they're all Swiss. And here a lot of actors: Meryl Streep, Rene Zellweger. Uh, they're all Swiss. And this guy, Herbert Hoover, well, he, ha he had Americans being shot as well, gave, giving the order to do this. And here's the map. I'll put it in the links for you. Here's the map with the, uh, here's the Swiss belt. <laughs> Ferguson right, right in the middle of it. Wake up, people, wake up. And here it says, Swiss Americans by numbers, uh, by percentage of the total for of population, communities settled by Swiss emigrants. And, uh, well, here it says, look, the number one state, the number two state, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, four, five, Illinois, uh, Indiana as well, number six, and here, Missouri. This is the Swiss belt, you know, it's all here. These are the number one states where all the Swissies went to. And, um, I, I tell you, you know, like, 170,000 in California or almost 100,000 in Ohio. Well, there are many, many more. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And this is the reason why this is all happening in Ferguson. Uh, you know, I mean, look at all these names here, you know, New Glarus, you know, that's Bern, that's the capital of Switzerland. Uh, Sacramento, Pittsburgh, they were communities settled by Swiss immigrants. Hohenwald, Grudli, Lager, Tell City, like William Tell. Well, you know. And here it says, they're all Swiss here. Dwight D. Eisenhower, a lot of actors. Jane Gaviesel, sounds like Weasel. Herbert Hoover, J. Edgar Hoover, real name Hoover. Um, <laughs> they're all Swiss. So, I'll well, look in the, um, and they always go for the police, you know, where the guns are, and, and, so, this police force you're showing, they are Swissies. This is Octagon, it's in the middle of the Swiss belt. This is what's really going on. And, uh, well, look at that yourself. And of course, again in the Swiss belt, Ohio, number two, ranked number two, there was another shooting of an unarmed black teenager in 2001 by an octagon cop in Cincinnati that brought riots all over the US. The 19-year-old Timothy Thomas got shot by the cop Stephen Roach. He got shot by the Roach in Ohio, the number two Swiss American state in a neighborhood called Over the Rhine. And the Rhine starts in the motherland, Switzerland. And Over the Rhine stands for that fifth column, 
moving forward, crossing the Rhine, infiltrating other peoples and other countries for their Swiss sleeper agents, leaving the motherland to install the reign of deceit through deception, which is the coward way of Swiss warfare from within, sly and sneaky, always attacking the defenseless, the women and the children, as in the Nazi war, a war against civilians. So again, the shootings of unarmed uh, black teenagers in the Swiss belt, it's again, it's, it's a German thing again. These people will never stop. And in 1917, this was not a hysteria. You know, these people understood. Irish and Italians, they understood, you know, what was going on. And you see here, they just Americanized their names. Like Hoover from Hoover, Eisenhower, they just changed their names, just like that, you know. And this is what's going on. This is the, the, Swiss, the Swiss belt in Ohio, you know, Ohio and um, Missouri now. And Cincinnati is, you know, it's, it's again at the border with Illinois, I think. And it, it's, it's right next to, uh, to Ferguson. So, you know, the Swiss, they, I told you, the Swiss, they got their dirty little fingers in it all over again and always it's always the same thing well here it is again you know don't shoot well where did i see this recently don't shoot don't shoot at me well nothing has changed you know for the last decade you know it's still the same thing going on and still at the very same place it's in the swiss belt this is ohio and now it's missouri it's always in the Swiss belt is happening. Octagon. It's behind it all the time. You know, an octagon cop shoots somebody and, and goes free. You know, no problems at all. You know, they're always right. As, as the justice system, you know, it's also a Swiss American thing, you know. <laughs> it's always the same thing. So here there was... The guy killed, you know, a teenager, not only 19 years old, unarmed, Timothy Thomas. He was killed by the Swiss roach. So officially, about half a million Swiss Americans live in the Swiss belt. But this is only the tip of the iceberg. They are in their millions, forming an enormous fifth column of Swiss sleeper agents, concentrated in the octagon police, therefore being more and more militarized. And the way the police lies in Ferguson, that's just as in octagon Switzerland. And they even think it's normal because they think they have a reason for their organized lies. I can see at the cold, emotionless faces of the cops that they're Swiss. And they're getting desperately trying hard not to be transparent. Where under the surface, this enormous Swiss hatred against the US and humanity is sweating through. These Swiss police homies hide around on farms, on the countryside, in Swiss American towns as Helvetia, Hohenwald, Grütli Lager, New Bern, several times Bern, New Glarus, Tell City or even Zurich and they want to show black people as images of black sheep, rats and black crows just as in the streets of the motherland. I mean, I mean look at those faces. It's like Himmler, Dr. Mengele, all related to Switzerland. Himmler was born at the Swiss border. You know, it's like no, but nobody is there, you know. Knock, knock, anybody there inside? Well, I suppose not, eh? I've, I've seen this all over Switzerland. It's like cold stone faces, nobody there. You know, are they really human? Who knows? You can see how they depict other races or black people like in the streets in the motherland, Switzerland. Like, uh, and they want, they surely want to do the same thing in the Swiss belt, 
in Ferguson, Missouri, in the, in the United States. Look, this one is black. He gets out, kicked out by three whiteies in Switzerland. And they show it in the streets. Look at that. In the streets, they show it. Here is a black hand trying to, you know, another brownie hand trying to, um, to, to, to get a Swiss cross or something. I don't know. Here they, the black people are depicted as black crows. And uh, here again in the streets, uh, it's it's all over. And they would l love to see this in the black in the Swiss belt. And here the black black boots walking all over clean Switzerland. Here against Muslims, they're they're like against everyone in Switzerland. And uh, so the whole th so they don't know other way as to do it like they don't want to do it in the open in Ferguson in the in the Swiss belt yeah <laughs> you know in the streets you know amazing it's crazy you know so they don't want to do it in the open and they can't in America because there's still a lot of Irish Italians Norwegians you know who don't like this Germanic sh things going on and uh, so they try to, uh, you know, to get all the other white people, like Irish descendants in the U.S., trying to get them behind, you know, to so, in all like a attacking the black population. Real bad. It's always coming out of Switzerland. Always, these people will never stop. So well. Well, look at it yourself, you know. And Obama isn't doing anything against Octagon's police terror in the Swiss belt. Because he's on the Swiss list too. Yeah, it is a list of Swiss Americans in uh, Wikipedia, it says. Well, let's have, uh, let's have a look. The presidents. I already showed this to you in this in the vid, in my video um, U.S. Sleep, uh, sleep, Swiss sleeper agents in um, in the U.S. on my channel Gure. Well, yeah, here he is, Barack Obama, His Swiss ancestors, just like Herbert Hoover, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I'll put it in the links for you. So this is why Barack Obama, he doesn't, he's, you know, he, he loves the Swiss belt. You know, where they kill black people. And don't get punished for it. You know, license to kill. They, they got a license to kill, you know, from the, from the president himself. Who's on the, on the Swiss list. And the enemy within, they shoot at white demonstrators too. Just remember how the Swiss Americans... Uh, President Herbert Hoover and not yet General Eisenhower gave the orders to shoot at unarmed U.S. veterans of the Bonus Army in 1932, killing and wounding many. And this octagon fifth column changes their names into English. English uh, names from Hoover to Hoover or like Darren Wilson, the assassin cop who shot the unarmed kid Michael Brown. And those Swiss ancestry most definitely carried Germanic names just as George Zimmermann of a Swiss-German father and killed Traven Martin in 2012. What you can see in Ferguson and right in the middle of the Swiss belt is in fact the extended Swiss Pope's Guard and its Swiss sleeper agents being activated worldwide now. And in Russia too, which has a very large Swiss fifth column community. See my other vids and the Swiss American Wikipedia link. So just as in the perfect dictatorship of the motherland of Octagon in the Alps, the same police terror happens in the US Swiss belt. So if you are Afro dark skinned, and don't look like a banker with a with a tie on. You get humiliated and provoked by the police all the time. Show ID, random body search for no reason, 
come to the police station and you just get fed up with these organized attacks by the uniformed mafia. So respect gets lost and you want to get even with them and get it out of your system where you can still feel that dirty police hands still sticking all over your body and personal affairs and out of total frustration because of the work by those police thugs Michael Brown might have stolen those cigarettes in the shop and this if he, if he did at all and this is the exact plan where the Nazi police wants to get you so they can pound you with the entire weight and terror of the New World Order laws of injustice. This is already part of the Georgia Guidestones filter where they breed people only who are willing to accept all states humiliation, terror and injustice and bow, bow their heads. The plan behind is that they want us to get used to their all-powerful master and pharaoh of the enemy within on all key positions. Michael Brown was just too proud to accept all the daily humiliations and they knew he was going to revolt. So they deliberately targeted Michael Brown every other day of his final weeks of existence in order to create the Ferguson fire. And they chose Ferguson because there are 70% black people living there anyway, in the middle of their Swiss belt. So watch Channel Cure, my black brothers, with more intel about Pharaoh and the Templars ruling. We whiteys are their slaves too of their worldwide aristocratic elite of the Pharaonic lineage and their base Switzerland, where they keep all the money. Swiss Octagon always has its dirty little fingers in it like cold-blooded police murders in the Swiss belt Ferguson over the Rhine, Ohio or Swiss German George Zimmermann, another German name and they want to crush the dollar and create mayhem in the US. I want you to look at the proofs. This is that domestic enemy John F. Kennedy warned us for. The octagon Nazi Templars from Switzerland now being activated worldwide. 